Welcome back, guys. Let's see what to do. I pulled up a map. Here's the map. Okay, where are we? We're at J. J goes to K. L, M, M. M goes to P. Where's P? Where is P? Oh, P is there. Okay. I'm trying to figure where to go. Sorry. God, this is a fucking maze, dude. Okay, I need to go to either D or H or A. One of those two. That's where A is. That's where D is. Where's H? That's where H is. Okay. I know where to go. Let's heal up again. What time is it? It's 10 p.m. Maybe I don't know where to go. Okay, hold on. You know what? Let's drink some sweet water. To keep monsters away. We try to figure this out, okay? Yes. That's not keeping monsters away. Just definitely have. To get out of here. It's 502 in Finland, Jesus. Okay, now where's this? Okay. So I think I go down this way. This sweet water isn't working. <laughs> God damn it. What music do I like? Um, video game music. I'm actually not, not a fan of just straight music, sorry. This isn't doing anything for me, is it? <laughs> Mega Neko. I, I do. Who, I know who Mega Neko is, but I don't listen to him too much. And Danimal Cannon. Oh, that's cool. See, I have a lot of trip to music that I play at the start of the stream. There's actually quite a bit of trip to music that I play at the start of the stream. So I didn't do anything. Okay. So since we're here, H should lead me to... Yeah, I know what you mean, Artificer Joni. Yeah. This is a bunch of treasure chests. Spell source. Life source. Oh, there is a lot of good gear down here. Power source. I have a will you help me? Yes. Close your eyes. Thanks, I'll tell you the secret of this cave. You know what it appears to be. Yeah, I know. It's a fucking... Like, are you... Are you a ghost? 
You're just gonna hang out down here in the basement of the cave, eh? All right. Smart. Okay, spell source should go to Lufia. Life source should also probably go to Lufia. She has lowest HP. Power source should go to Boomer. Mind source should go to Lufia. Yeah, man. I'm I'm never, ever going to a concert. Fuck that. Not worth it. I don't, I don't even like music as its own thing anyway. Can all the biofuel? No, news to me. What's going on there? Nice. More health, more experience. This? Where am I now? Right. This is the, the big old fuck you, isn't it? Okay. What? Okay. Yeah, Dr. Mindbender. Oh yeah, that's right. It used to be called rapeseed oil, but now it's called canola oil. Because it's Canada oil, yeah. Man, people censor things weirdly, you know? Dev has medium PP energy, I guess so. Chat has spoken. I bet this area was really fucking intolerable when you had to play it with like low movement speed. What a oh. What a terrible fucking design choice. Like like this shit is. <laughs> so when they say Things are not what they appear to be. Are they talking about holes in the fucking bridge? What are we supposed to do? Oh, we're floating by a strange power. It's an invisible bridge. I actually didn't know that. I just guessed by looking at the map. It seems kind of obvious. <laughs> Dragon Quest clone has horrible mazes with tons of encounters and pit drops. Yeah. Seems like it, eh? Okay, so let's also heal up Aguro. Oh, look who it is! Reyna! She's been possessed! The ruby will be mine. Old childhood favorite that I never finished. All right. It's a phantasm. Damn. Um. It seems like. Let's shield up. And let's lower defense too. How many times can I can I drain his uh, defense? Ouch! I can just do it in perpetuity. Yeah, I'll shield that girl as well. And then I'll heal too. Oh, I can't I can't like select all. Okay. Yes, 
just gonna start fighting. Uh, I don't know. Oh god, we're all getting confused. How do I cure this again? Um, mind drug? No. I can't cure this. I guess I'll just fucking go for it. Jesus, come on! Come the- Well, there's that. Here, come on, what does Detox do? Anthony for Poison, okay. Wow, this is a bitch of a boss, isn't it? Uh, awaken. Oh, she's still confused? Oh, okay. Wow, this sucks. I'm getting destroyed here. Fuck it, we're just gonna hit him. Please. Pliss. President Nintendo said that RPG players are the losers that play in the dark basins of their parents. Jesus. Yeah, rather interesting. I still have some some valuable stuff. I still have some valuable stuff in my collection. Oh fuck, dude. I'm just nuking me. Thank you for hitting yourself. Thanks for hitting the boss. Okay. You hit Agro. You cure yourself. Dev, suck less. I'm trying. You can't beat this guy, he has lava wings. Oh, is that the rule? I'll try to get at least Agro up to snuff on heels. Agro's defense is so fucking... Like, his magic defense is so shit. Good. Fuck. What a boss. Luffy has two experience to level up. Nice. 
Yeah, man. I still have a. Uh, I still have. I still have DK Bongos myself. The ghost had kidnapped her. That's why the medicine didn't work. The ruby's broken. Oh no! Tell the truth and apologize. We're going to jail. Apologize to the princess. There's no fucking way. So Reyna was possessed by a ghost the whole time. There are elves in Belgium. Alright. Okay. Thanks to my daughter's recovered. Got a life source, thanks. Lufia is so considerate of Boomer's ego that she refuses to level up. Here. Let's get into one battle. Actually, you know what we're going to do? Actually, maybe I should heal before, before I do this. Let's head back to the ancient cave. Because at level 15, we should be able to go to the next level of it, right? Yeah, so the Sega Saturn was not popular in North America. But as it turns out... It got a lot of the same games as the PS1, with some very startling changes that are very interesting to, to notice. Actually, let's just fucking nuke our way through this. Oh. Catch an elf! You can make it your slave, they're not people, Jesus. Yeah, there's just a lot of interesting things you can see. Oh, Jesus. Hey, hey, hey Ribbits. Um, Manusco... Didn't... Wasn't the Switch kind of a surprise launch? Like, they went from... No word on anything to the Switch in, like, six months. Like, they said, we might have a console come out... Like, in the summer. And then, by January, it was out. It's like, holy shit. Usually it's like a year or two between announcements and it actually dropping. Wait, the Saturn was launched on the day it announced? Holy f really? I have a Saturn. I haven't turned it on in years, though. I wonder if it still works. My Saturn is just sitting here. Stuff each other who weren't ready for it. Oh, so there was just like fighting in the stores over who is Sega Saturn? Wolf Among Us. Now that's a good game. Also, hi. Lack of transparent texture, certain 3D objects can downgrade texture certain areas. However, as community carriers and weapons were never reported in any version. Really? That's actually interesting. You have your brother Saturn. Did you not want it anymore? Was it one of those things where like he left it behind at your parents' house and you didn't care, so you just inherited it? It was like one of those situations. Okay, let's get a job. Yeah. I have some of my sister's stuff that way. And like for a long time, you know, when you're growing up as kids, every, every person has their own bike, you know, if your family can afford it. And then by the time everyone's moved out, there's just like a bunch of bikes hanging around. And so when I would go back and visit, I would just ride whatever bike I wanted. Fourth level, find the crown. Sure. Okay. Let's go. 
Yeah, there are the the ancient cave is in Lufia One, but it's very is very stripped down. It's not the same thing. It's not like a random area generator. It's just like a repeated place you can go to to get stuff. My favorite pet was absolutely Fumi in Lufia One. I just like the simpleness of him. <laughs> Sorry, Tanu. Fourth level. Here we go. For a while, I did actually ride my sister's bike because it was a nicer bike than mine. Like my childhood bike and her childhood bike. You know, we were teenagers when we got them, so they were big enough for adults. And hers was a nicer bike than mine, so I rode it. It was it was red, so it didn't look like it was a girl's bike. Um. Haven't seen these enemies before. Let's hope we're good. Okay, no, we're fine. Lots of damage, though. In before wipe. And yeah, see, Monusco, there's a lot of consoles that are still popular, like old consoles from the 90s and 2000s that are still popular today in Brazil, and it's like, weird. Cool, but weird. That's an orc. That's an orc. All right. There's a friend of mine who actually, until she got a job at Google, she was making an indie game for the Dreamcast. Then you know she got a job at Google and kind of she lost all her free time. So, oh well. OG orcs tend to look like pigs. Yeah, I guess, eh? The bike thing is actually a bit of a sore spot with me because, like, my sister moved away. And to be fair, I was I was definitely in some ways a failure to launch kid because I kept coming back for a few summers um, after like for university summers, probably longer than I should have. Meanwhile, my sister was had had permanently moved out by like the end of her second year, so it's like oh well shit. Um, but basically, I allowed my parents to sell my bike understanding that my sister's bike would become mine, because I, I biked a lot, I exercised a lot um, when I was younger. I liked biking. And so, that racist looking orc. And so we, we all agreed, it's like, listen, you can sell my bike as long as this one is now mine exclusively. And my sister said yes, my parents said yes. And then a few years later, my sister moved back home for one summer. And then suddenly it wasn't my bike anymore. And everybody had conveniently forgotten the deal. And I was like, you fucking assholes. No! Okay. Do we need contracts and blood? Yeah, maybe. Fuck. These guys hit pretty hard. My parents did that shit to me all the time, because I, w I was the older child, I was the healthy one because she has some medical conditions, and I was a guy and she was a girl. There was lots of that, oh, you're, n oh, don't worry, you're just going to do it now, and it's like, thanks. Really appreciate it. Now you wonder why I'm not moving back when my sister is. I just need to kill these fucking guys and get out of this fight. Hey, Bilbo, have fun. Oh, fuck, that happens to me all the time, Doctor. 
Or it did, anyway. Not anymore. I just killed this thing. There was, like, one time... When my parents wanted to, like, come in and eat lunch in this room. Because the couch was nice. And I was just like, fine. And then, like, they made a mess of it. And I was like, you're not doing this again. Get the fuck out of here. And they started bitching the next time. Okay, let's see what we got here first. I gotta learn, like, the next heal magic. This is not enough anymore. I've already, already done this. Dev living the dream, kicking his parents out of his house. Yeah. Stream what? My parents being here? No. Why the fuck would I do that? Yeah, rather interesting that happened to me too. My first year away from university, I, and over the course of eight, six to eight months, I lost everything. My entire game collection, man. Nope, I'm not telling the story again. I'm just pointing it out because I'm still bitter. Hate when girlfriends steal things and they break up. Yep. Dave had a copy of Clones of Bruce Lee that a girl took. R.I.P. Oh. Longsword. It equips him. That's awesome stuff. Yeah. Nice, that's a lot of damage. Poor Dave, yeah. There have actually, like, unironically been... Like, like, my sister wanted to be on the show at one point, and I'm like, you're, you're in this city once a year, why would I have you on the show? My parents kind of wanted. I was like, no. And there's been like other people that I've known. Like, can I come on the show just to like fuck around and look at my phone all the time and like not actually contribute anything? And it says, no, you can't. <laughs> fuck off. Fuck. It sounds strange, but it's it's kind of tiring. Just dealing with humans. <laughs> Wind heals. Oh, is that? It's worse. Better agility, though. So I'll take them. Light robe is good. Light armor is better. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Doctor Mummer. Yeah. Like my channel is not even big. Like this is a. A small channel, like SFO is reasonably, reasonably large at this point, but this is, this, is, this is a small channel. But there's still people who are just like fucking around. It's like, get out of here, man. Long nail. What's long nail? Is that like a. A nail meant for use in hexes. What? Uh, they de-censored it, and they changed translation to make it more accurate. And they also made your character move faster because the slow move is kind of shit. Crown. Bloody Rod. Have I completed this? I think I have. Let's get out of here. Yeah. Depends, rather interesting. Like, there have been times where I, I get, like, near 100. And there have been times when I get, like, 20. It depends on the game, time of day, how consistent I've been on this channel, how consistent how consistent I've been on the SFO channel. Like, there's a lot of, there's a lot of factors.
no, no, even like outside of E3, I've had some games go over 100 viewers, for sure. Like Skyward Sword had over 100 viewers um, when we started it. Mr. Twisted Frenzy for the sub. Thank you very much. Hey. Nice. Okay. I'll come back at level 20. Maybe I shouldn't have a missing streak of a year and a half. Well, welcome back, Steven. Let's sell some junk. The sweet waters are fucking useless. I never use escapes. I'll sell those. I sell the chain cloths, the chain mails, the wood shields, the light armor. Don't care what poison pen. Sell the spear. Um, wood helm. Keeping the rings. Ominous looking rod. <laughs> Pay reparations for YouTube bands? That's <laughs> I think you pick up some people who are just browsing games. Probably not that many Luffy fans for Twitch streams. Yeah, but like, I, I wouldn't want to use the retro tag because retro feels like you're doing like a bunch of different games in quick succession. I'm not. I'm doing this game. So Luffy feels like the right tag, you know? Really? Hope you enjoy, Steven. Yeah. Okay, so I want to test out some of these, these cursed items, okay? Let's record. Oh, I'll save it up here. Okay. So if we equip the ghost ring... Oh, it's fine. It's not actually a haunted ring. And the bloody rod? Sorry, bloody rod is cursed. So now she can't unequip it. Like, if I go to equip... Yeah, Blade Rod's cursed. I can't take it off. And it will cost... Um, to lift cursed? It costs 600 gold pieces for her to unequip the Bloody Rod. Now let's actually use the Bloody Rod in combat and see what it does. See, she deals, she takes a little bit of damage. So I guess I might as well just sell that, because it's not even useful. I don't know what the ghost ring does, though. I don't know. Ah, no, I can see the YouTube chat. Just reset, please. I can see the YouTube chat, Yataro. What's up? Oh yeah, you're watching the fucking really old stuff? Like the 2E007 game? Fuck, that's an old playthrough. Okay, so we're not gonna use any of that garbage. Yeah, Mindbender, yeah. Um... I guess we'll just head back to where we were. To be fair, the world did feel a bit bigger when I was moving more slowly. <laughs> really? Rather interesting? Well, I'm actually not grinding now, I'm trying to travel. It's just that's what travel in this game is. Cursed only runs, really. Well, you don't get the first cursed weapon until, like, a few hours in. Yeah. 
My guy's really powerful now, damn. Never thought I'd be playing Luffy a 30 years later and kicking a lot of ass at it. You know what I mean? Being on a Twitch is a curse itself. <laughs> yeah, Luffy is a dead series. I don't know, Dr. Mindbender. I think Taito treated this game, like, reasonably seriously. Like, like, there wasn't much in the way of crossovers or anything. Yeah, lots of people are making retro games, like with like pixely style stuff. I I don't have have like turn based JRPGs made a comeback? I don't think so. Or like platformers have. But I don't think this is ever coming back. Whenever they do, it's like bravely default where the cutscenes are like thirty fucking billion years long. Turn based, yeah. I miss turn based too. Or like, give me a good ATB game. I mean, very important to tell everyone today. I hope Ruby was stolen and made of glass. The other one was hidden somewhere else, right? That's Ruby was only one in Madan. There was no hope Ruby in the first place. Oh no! Of course I do, Yataro. One was rich in gemstone mines, but they ran out years ago. When the gemstones ran out, people of Madan threw to tourism. That's so why we had the Hope Ruby. This is fraud. It's wrong to attract tourists. See a fake ruby. Went to make Madan rich country. My bro must pitch in. We're sorry fooling you guys. Oh, everyone's happy. I told the soldiers of the Eastern Cave about you. You should be able to pass. Nice. I can't even rest at the inn because you're all fucking hanging out. Oh! I can just buy in the street! Which one of you... Which one of you is the innkeeper? We'll stay for free. Yeah. These people took being lied to about everything really well. Also, did we just sleep out here? Did you guys sleep out here? All right. All right. <laughs> you didn't go to the ceremony, eh? Okay, so this is the cave. The village of Belgium lies to the south. Be careful. So now we can go through to the village of Belgium. All right. What's down here for? Nothing, I guess. What's over here for? Are just some treasures? So if that's what's there, What's the point of the mine? These are the mines of Medan. Once time there was there was heaps of rubies, emeralds, the works. Monsters live here now. You don't need to go in. I turn back. Let's see what's in here. Oh, more ghost enemies. 
All right. I'll just stomp you real quick. Dark Pictures presents Minds of Medan. <laughs> oh shit. I'm one shotting these guys now. Okay. This is like a bonus area. Like if you just want to come, in, I'm gonna get I'm running from these guys. Fuck you. I've been mining rubies for 70 years. <laughs> Jesus. Are you any left now? You ever found this hope ruby? Never thought I was trying to be as that. It's locked. All right, I guess I'm not going to your treasure room. Is there? Are you okay with all these monsters here, dude? Like, they're literal ghosts. Alright. He was staying there for seven years waiting for the player to find him. I'm gonna look at the map of this place. Like, is there actually anything here? Hold on. Just wait. Okay. Medan Mine. Oh. You can actually get to his treasure room. There's four treasure chests in it. But I don't know how to do it. Maybe we'll come back later. You don't use Steelers Collective Labor? Oh. Have you read the rules for radicals? Yeah, a long time ago. It's some crazy shit, isn't it? These fucking people are nuts. Don't ever trust them with anything. Okay, enough of that. Yeah, doctor. I haven't tried Droplet yet. I don't know if I have a better spell than just Flash. Nope, that fucking sucked. Okay. Hey, what are these things? Like, coming out of the wall here. They're all over Lufia Caves, and I don't really understand them. Like, what are those? In any case. Never got this far. Oh. Poison rat. Uh, let's fucking kill that real quick. Tentacles. Trees and roots, maybe? It's always possible to be trees and roots. Is this Belgian? Yes, it is. What? Who are you? The monster coming? No, humans. All right. Monsters are attacked recently. People are tense. All right. Lots of monsters, eh? not XP or treasure, so who cares? I just started attacking the village again. So we offered them a ransom for Jaren. Jesus. Hello. <laughs> just, hi. <laughs> it's real chill about it. Small shop, what do you got? It's a worse sword. Mace. Okay. Or Falufia. Longstaff is better. 
buy that. And the bronze sword is better for him. Let's equip this shit. Don't accidentally equip the, blo the bloody rod, Jesus. Okay. Black Dragon is the West is the oldest game I've ever played. Really? What is it? I've never even heard of it, dude. Okay, there's something important going on there. I don't see an armor shop. Here it is. Like out in the, the backyard. Okay. Bronze armor is worse. Bronze targe is worse. Bronze helm is the same. Hide boots is better. But I lose a bit of attack. Ah, fuck it. How about for you? Hide boots better. You're still wearing glass cap. It's always nice getting, you know, a, a full set of new equipment. Always feels good. Yeah. And I saw this sneaky cave over here, too. Here's the church. So I think Jaren's the elf girl that joins you, eh? The lolly elf? And everyone's, everyone in here is talking about her. I feel sorry for Jaren, but I'm glad it wasn't me. What if the monsters aren't satisfied with Jaren? I could be next. Are these like their sacrifices? Jaren, a child of friend. I'm supposed to get out this time. Jaren offered us on my place. I was wrong. Oh, Jesus. Let's help her. Key to the dice and the caves... Was I supposed to be... Was I supposed to come here later? <laughs> that is like sequence break. Finding some drugs? Nice. Is it Lolly who turns it? Well, she's half elf, right? So she, she probably is 200 years old. Okay, so where's her brother? To get the key. Let us talk to you fucks. Lock the door to the cave. No one can help her. She's on a... Jesus, Jesus Christ, Jesus. How about we go fight for you, then? Okay, so where's the brother that I can talk to to get this key from? Where did she say he was? Yeah, it's the mind up, yeah. Hidden in the southwest cave. Key to the diocese. It's in the southwest cave. Alright. Let's go. Why are there ghosts out here now? Okay. Alright, alright. <laughs> I'm now disbelieving this. <laughs> I didn't see that, no. Rather interesting, no. The best feels when you first finish filling the equipment slots? Yeah, like when you have an empty, like, accessory slot for a while, and then, like, you finally get something to put in it, it's like, yes! I think World of Warcraft did that well, like, like classic WoW. They basically gave you, they, they, they gave you, like, a... They finally put something in those paper doll slots, like, every ten levels or so. Okay, which cave is it? Is it this cave or that cave? Guess we'll find out. Oh, see you later, buddy. What 
wish I told you the names of the caves. Here, I'll go to that cave. That seems to be a passage somewhere. This seems to be actually a cave. Yeah, I think in World of Warcraft, like, you you started with, like, like a, a few things. And then, like, I think you started with shirt, pants, belt, and gloves. And also short sword and shield. Or weapon, you know, whatever. And then, like, they added boots, like, at level 5. And then they added, like, eventually, they added shoulder pads around level 40. They added helmets around level 30, I think. What else did they have? Then they had, um, that's right, rings and trinkets. Trinket, trinkets were end game, and rings were, were on level 20. Yeah. But oh, you guys remember? Okay, you guys remember better than me. Shoulder pads without stats for 15 to 16 shoulders. Start with the boot shoulders around 20. Okay. Trunk. Not a thick. Not take a trunk. <laughs> I do have a trunk. <laughs> yes, Yataro, you can just get weed as long as you're of age. You got me going through the PS3, PSN now? That's gonna close soon, isn't it? Like, that's gonna be... Hey, anybody who knows, can you actually get Lufia, like, on some kind of online service? Like, is it on the SNES Classic, or is it available to buy as a classic game on, like, a virtual console or something? Kind of curious. Oh, thank you. I've still got my PS3 now. Posture check, too. Come on. I'm not slouching that hard, am I? Maybe I am. Aren't all SNES games in the Switch with the Nintendo Online Membership? Yeah, and it sucks. If you ones on mobile. I know that, Shogoth. I'm just asking. Yes, but only up to a point, Yataro. Only so much. Because you're, you're, you're not allowed to sell your own, but you can create your own. So you can, you can only farm a small amount. Yeah, you can get like a special, special license, a license, I guess, to sell it. Jeez, that's quite the beetle. Okay, can I just bang? Yeah, but Shogun sometimes is not the same, you know, to... Sometimes you gotta get it, like, perfect hardware. Oh, shit, Bang didn't actually kill you, those two. Yeah, I'm doing okay here.
Not on Wii U, eh? Yeah, I think this is just one of those forgotten games. Does he have, like, a, um... Would I have, like, a Super NT? Because this is my original SNES controller, but I play on a Super NT rather than my original SNES. Yeah, that's what the Super NT is. Something better, what's it called? Because the Super NT is, like, top of the line when it comes to hardware reproductions. Whenever I play, I mean, as I find myself trying to fast forward YouTube videos with the key commands, it's kind of funny. Not in the Switch store either, right? Eh? It might just be one of those forgotten things. Yeah, the same company makes a Genesis. Makes makes a Genesis version, which I also have. The Mega SG and the Super NT are the two things that, that company makes. They also make others too. I want to get their Game Boy one day, but they haven't. They've been like delaying it for the past year. A mister. What's an? What's a M I S T E R? What is that? Let me look it up. Oh, it's just giving me Mr. Oh, get out of here. All right. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Sorry. Yeah, Mega e Mega SG. Well, here's the thing. Um, you can get you can buy a flash card from Crix that will play Mega SG games and sorry that, that will play Sega CD games and 32X games just off the cart. Bronze helm, bronze targe, bronze armor, all the things I just bought. I guess if for some reason you lacked on money. It's Raspberry Pi on steroids. Oh, okay. See, I like having devoted hardware. I like, I like what I have now, you know? I'm kind of rushing to get, to get to the end of this dungeon, to be honest, because I want to basically recruit the new character. And this seems like the end. I'll come back here for the treasures in the next stream. But I, I want to recruit the character Jaren and then level her up on the break. So I am kind of just blowing through this. Let's go. Let's go rescue the lolly. Wait, you're not the lolly. Here's the key. Go and rescue Jaren. Oh, okay, is she in the is she in this dungeon somewhere? See, I have a 32X, I just don't know if it's functional or not. I do most streams in real hardware, yes. I have an NES, SNES, Genesis as recreation hardware. I have my original N64, original Dreamcast, original PS1, original PS2, original Xbox, original uh, Sega, Dream, uh, um, Sega Saturn, original Switch, Wii, Wii U, Xbox 360, PS3, PS4. I had an Ouya, but it died. R.I.P. my Ouya. As it should have. Get out of here. Like, I was... I tried it a few times, and then it just fucking gave out, like, out of nowhere. So now it just sits on my shelf. Oh god, the cave is that other cave. And it's huge! 
I'm not getting this done tonight, guys. Sorry. I'll just get out of here and go back to town. Fiona and the Farquad of Doom? What? <laughs> Yeah, I don't think the physical 32X works with the Mega SG, but you can get hardware that goes into the cartridge slot that isn't a 32X, but, but will play 32X games. Hold on. If I can just beeline it, can I, can I do this in like five minutes? Hold on. Where's the way out? There it is. Okay, that's the locked door. I can rush it if I just skip all the treasures. Okay. Yeah, it's a lot. Of, it was a lot of trial and error for me figuring this out, and also a lot of buying some pretty pricey equipment. But I truly do love doing this, so that's why I did it. Okay, I'm going for it. Fuck it. You can just run from these. Let me out. You fuck. Okay, thank you. Destroyed those guys, damn. Jesus, there's so many fucking combats. Yeah, the, the... No, no, the 32X was a different adapter for the Sega Genesis. The Sega Genesis had two adapters. It had the, the CD adapter that goes on the side, and then, like, a graphics adapter that goes on the top. I don't quite know what the fucking point of the 32X was. Like, did it really add that much to the console? Like, what processing power was inside the 32X? More colors, better sound? Really? Alright. Oh, there's mimics in here. Alright. Seven. Oh. It was kind of their answer to the, to the uh, Super Effects jump. Yeah. Yeah, I saw that, actually, Ninja, because I watch, um... Oh my god, these guys fucking... Like, how do you kill these? Yeah, so I watch Caleb Hart. I find his, uh... I can't watch his stream, because his streams are long, and I can't watch that much Caleb Hart. But I do watch his videos on his YouTube where it's like the best of best of some streams. Cause I find them pretty funny, because he's a he's like a pretty funny guy. Um But I've been watching him and I've been and I, I saw his video on the on the calm skip. I'm like, damn. Alright. Because like the whole, the whole point of the calm skip was like it, it, it was the holy grail for Final Fantasy speedrunning for a long time, eh? Yeah, I saw that on Disco. We played Donkey Kong 64 in the channel like two years ago, and I, and I told the story of why that was there.
basically the story was, um, without the memory expansion, there was a bug in the end in the Donkey Kong 64 code that would basically cause the game to crash like once an hour. And with the added memory, it just it just expanded the amount of N64 memory available such that it would crash only occasionally. <laughs> it's like, all right. The game didn't actually need it. No game actually needed it. Now, some games did actually use it to success, but no game actually needed it. I remember, this might have been only a Canadian thing. This might only be a Canadian thing, but for a while you couldn't actually, when I was a kid, you couldn't actually get N64 memory packs. Like, they were just fucking sold out everywhere. You know what I mean? Like, just sold out. And so, I was uh, in a city with, a nearby city with my friend who was, to be fair, from a poor family. And they actually had, like, one pack for sale, and I was like, oh my god. I've been looking for this for, like, six months. I'm, I'm not talking about back in the day, I'm talking about, like, when I was a kid. Like, 98, 90, 99, whatever. I was like, oh my god. If I don't buy this now, I'm not going to see one for another six months. So I asked him, I was like, listen, like, I understand, but I, I asked um, his father, actually, because we, we were with his dad. I understand, but do you have enough money and my mom could pay you back, because my mom had, had the money. And he said, sure. I understand. Oh, Jesus, maybe we can do it yourself. And so I, uh, I bought it, and he paid for it. And even though he agreed, he bitched the whole time, like he wanted to hold it over me. This is an adult we're talking about, and I was a kid. And then, when I told my mom the situation, I was like, okay, I can pay him, like, I understand. Um, she went to go pay him, and then she started bitching her out. And I was like, dude, you could have said no. Like, I understand your family situation, man. Fuck. Oh, sand stuff out here? Some people just can't have having money owed to them, it really freaks them out. Yeah, maybe. But, like, I was a kid. We're talking... We're talking, like, ten years old here. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, Jesus Christ. Ambushed by poison rats. And they're all running away. Well, maybe not. Can't go this way. Fuck you, dude. That's Jaren. She's still a child. Not really. Look at her carefully. She's half elf. Why are you looking that way, dude? The blood of elves and humans mix. I've never heard. I've heard of this. I've never seen it until now. If she's half elf. You can't look about looking your age, can you? Her age doesn't matter. What should we do? We have to stop this kidnapping nonsense once and for all. Oh no! So clearly there's an area north. Can I float? Float my way into a fight. 
Ocean Rise Red Dragon. I haven't really played any Star Ocean games. I've heard of them. I've, I've tried a couple. I know, I've tried one in the SNES. I don't remember anything about it, though. Joseph Sto Joe Star voice? Oh, no. Jesus, guys. Um, in World of Warcraft, there was, a uh, half orc and half Draenei. Oh god. Is she in a whole ass tower? Alright. And look at these pumpkin fucks. I'm definitely not getting this character tonight. I, like, rushed through two caves and skipped all the treasures hoping to grab her. Rexar was the second, not the first. Yeah, I know what you mean, Monusco. When we played it again on the show, I kind of realized that. Back to the save point. Alright. And that's that. We'll get our next stream. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, lady. We're gonna go raid somebody. But uh, that was... That was Game Boomers. Playing some Luffy. I hope you enjoyed.